Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where we talk fashion, great deals, and good vibes. Let's get started. So today we're going to talk about the brand Aloe. I would explain Aloe as an elevated Lululemon. I love Lululemon and I'm very excited that I found, stumbled upon this brand Aloe. So Lululemon to me feels like everyday wear. Um, Aloe is everyday athletic wear as well. However, it is designer inspired and specifically how Aloe explains their brand is luxury meets performance in every collection, capturing what's trending in contemporary fashion and studio to street. So this brand is starting their designs by looking, seeing what's on the runway, seeing what designers are creating for, you know, the, the next season. So the colors, the styles, trends, and it's very obvious in this brand. So what I love in, in the spirit of frugality, this is a studio to street. So I would say at least half of these pieces, in my opinion, can absolutely go from studio to street. So you're getting really two pieces in one. Whereas I feel like if you're wearing maybe your Lululemon kind of workout gear, you can tell that it's that it's workout gear and you're just simply wearing it during the day or whenever you're wearing it, but it looks like it's workout gear. So I really, really love that Aloe offers diversity. It is a bit more expensive. So Lululemon is already a little, pr is pricey in my opinion, and Aloe is a little bit more. So it ranges for, for their average things. So leggings, again, kind of just having in the back of my mind, Lululemon comparison. So for the leggings, for the tops, sports bras, it is a bit more expensive, but we're talking 10 to 30, $40 tops in difference in pricing for these basic items. So they too offer sales and they're only online though that I'm aware of. Lululemon does have sales inside their store. It's not a big selection, at least from what I've seen. It's usually just like a rack, but I mean, it's better than nothing. So I think the workaround with, with Aloe not having sale items is of course, just simply figure out what size you wear and then and then um, order it on sale. We're winding back to designer inspired. So an example that we have of that is this Airlift Infinity long sleeve. It is so cute. So what I love about this is it looks just very chic and just like a regular top that can be worn to yoga or that you could wear uh, with a pair of jeans. So where this is elevated is of course the back uh, diamond or triangular shape that cut out with the, with the extended neck that loops around and then it's like quadruple bam elevated with the green color in that beautiful mesh. So this is just to die for. I absolutely love it. So I think this is a really good example of um, studio to street. So I, I just, I feel like you could put that shirt on and not worry about going to, to yoga that day and just wearing that and you'll just feel good and you don't feel like you're wearing, you know, workout clothes. You feel like you're wearing a really cool trendy top. So unfortunately in the black picture, I can't tell if it's the see-through mesh or not. It kind of doesn't look like it is, but the green one is super hot. So. The next one is, okay, so this Thrill Seeker Shrug. I really love that you can put that on top of anything. So if you have just a, a cute cami that you're wearing, so you can do kind of color blocking. So you could buy, buy a black shrug and then wear a white uh, cami, or you can buy a white shrug and maybe put on a pop of pink cami. I feel like it could even be worn if you're, if you maybe have on a casual dress of some sort, like a, a tank dress, 
and it starts a little cool in the morning or maybe starts to cool off in the evening, you can put that over while still showing, you know, your beautiful dress or what, whatever it is that you're wearing. Um, but I, I just, I really love the Thrill Seeker Shrug. So the Airlift Infinity Long Sleeve. So this is a prime example of their designer aspect. So the cutouts, cutouts have been um, trending for at least a couple of years now, but I love that, I mean, they are still trending and I just, I really love this top that you can do your yoga, you can do your um, athletic performance, whatever it is that you need to do in this, but also it looks really cool. And you could literally wear this with a pair of jeans, um, and just wear it as a top. So I really do like the Airlift Infinity um, long sleeve top, so super cute. Getting into super design, um, take a look at this liquid jacket. So this was $234 and it's now on sale for $140. So that again, great deals is that's a great testimony that if you like something, you know, it probably will go on sale, especially if it's very much so a um, a seasonal item. So, you know, your jackets, um, certain colors, you know, your pinks are probably most likely going to go on sale going into winter and vice versa. So this liquid jacket is, oh my God, so beautiful. The dark silver gray with, with the oversized chrome zipper. So if you have seen, um, I believe Dior, definitely I know Louis Vuitton, they are having these like oversized, just overstated um, zippers, uh, chains, stuff like that. So this is 100% designer on trend. And the color as well, this kind of silverish gray, so lots of metallics are on trend right now and have been for a little while and they'll be continuing through. We've already seen, seen that in the spring, summer 2023 collection. So I'm about this liquid jacket. I think it's really cool. And for the sale price of $140, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, it's not an, ex an exorbitant amount amount of money um, I think 140 is fair and honestly we're, we're spring so it could even go down a little bit more again I just started learning about it, this brand and following it so let's see here the next one is what do you guys think about this mode jacket in this I would say like a salmon poppy color the mesh is really cool. I don't know how comfortable it is, how breathable it is, but it's definitely really cool. So I would be very curious to actually try it on and just give it a try. So I'm sure that it probably does give a little bit of warmth because that, that particular material, I can't imagine it being too breathable, but I don't know. I, I guess I would have to just try it on and, and hear some reviews. So the price was 208 and now it's 124. So again, I, I think that if you're looking for something really cool out of the box, I think that Aloe definitely has some really cool options. Now we'll get into the looks that I tried on in store. So Aloe is known for their sweatsuits as well as their, I think specifically the airlift leggings. So I tried on the sweatpants and a beautiful corset top, which again speaks to the designer aspect, but also you're able to do yoga, any kind of movement in that top that's gonna keep you um, hugged and, and, and in place. So I'm not a big fan of just oversized baggy stuff. I just feel very frumpy when things are 
too big and baggy on me. So I did try the sweats on because the sales associate said that that is what they're known for. I will be completely honest, the sales associate had a black set on and it had like a lot of lint on it. So it just, it wasn't a really good look. I don't know if it was maybe super old and had been washed many times, but I'm thinking when you're spending, I think the sweats were 130 around that price. So when you're spending $130 on sweats, I, I would like them to look nice. But um, I did like the top, it, it was cute. So moving on to the city wide leg cargo pant. Those were really cool. I did love that color. I liked the, the fit of them. And the, so the fit, I liked how you could unzip the side and then just is, easily slip them off and on over tennis shoes if if that's what you're wearing if you're doing maybe uh um i don't know if you have shorts or the yoga pants under and you want to slip, slip those over if it's a little cold outside and then once you get into the class zip that up and then take take them off easily so on and off I really liked that. Um, the top, the white top, I wasn't a big fan of. I mean, it was okay. Um, maybe it was the bra that I was wearing. Um, it definitely, it didn't, it didn't really do anything for me. Of course, it looks great on the model. So, um, I mean, I wouldn't highly suggest anybody not to get it, but it, it just, it wasn't for me. So that was the second outfit. And the third outfit was the plum airlift leggings, which the color was to die for. It was really, really pretty. And I actually did see it in December in the store. And they also had a really pretty emerald green color at that time as well in December. So the sheen, the sheen, material it just it makes it look so pretty so i really did love the color those were in the seven eighths length and the white top i really really liked i liked how it you know went over the um you know just had the loophole for the thumb and it just it felt like a hug it was flattering i like things that are flattering that hug you but of course that are not restricting so it's funny I, I like fitted clothes but not restricting I don't like frumpy but I, I just I have to feel put together so the white top I really liked it was not see-through and I really am going to I'm gonna wait for that one to go on sale I just I really like purchasing things on sale but again it's kind of a, a it's a final commitment when you purchase from them on sale because it's it's a it's a final sale so make sure you like what you're getting try things on and then it, it's uh it's pretty much a guarantee what you like is will be on sale and I'm completely okay with that actually on that note so blacks and whites sometimes grays are kind of in the core core line so maybe they won't go on sale so you know you gotta figure out how much you love it and and make your decision from there so at this point i'm going to still continue learning about the brand trying things on um, experimenting i i want to really love and like the brand and uh, find out what works for me just to have more options right so i think that's kind of you know what what life's about is having those options and i thought that between lululemon and aloe i was gonna just go the aloe route but I'm like, why would I do that to myself? Like pick what I love from Lululemon, pick what I love from, from Aloe and enjoy both brands and the best of both brands. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know your comments. If you guys have tried this brand, if you guys suggest this brand, if you do, what do you suggest? And um, if you never have, let me know if you're, if you're gonna try it and, and go take a look. So have a wonderful day everyone and enjoy shopping, bye.